Ankh Mac, pressure on the equity street. But let's find out what's happening in the world of commodities. We have Manisha Gupta joining in and uh, today she'll discuss base metals. Manisha, so what's the latest? China up or China down? <laughs> well, there is definitely some support coming from China and that continues. Of course, yesterday was a knee-jerk reaction after China did cut the reserve requirement ratio by almost 50 basis points for the local banks there. But also what is supporting metals is the decline in US dollar index. Well, that has come off its multi-week highs and is the reason you have many of these metals actually headed for a weekly gain. Uh, the markets are still waiting out for various US data that would come in today. You have the jobless claim number that comes in today and most importantly the fourth quarter GDP numbers as and when they come is what the street will take a cue from in the meanwhile you have the copper prices which are trading at a three week highs on your screens there in the international markets as well with the kind of gains that we have seen in copper for this week has turned it positive for 2024 well the first three weeks have uh, actually have been on the negative side but this week more or less has compensated for that not just copper if you look at aluminum prices they are trading at a two week highs as well there are conversations about a potential European Union import sanctions on Russian uh, aluminum there. If you look at the Elumi warehouse talks in sense of uh, aluminum, 90% of the aluminum that is lying in these warehouses comes in from Russia. So that, that is something that the street is looking for. And if there is more development on this, you could be looking at those prices gaining up as well. But apart from that, it is steel which is trading in the positive right now. Iron ore prices are by nearly 1.5% as well. So most of the metal prices continue to do well and we are headed for a weekly gain on this one. Thank you very much uh, for that. We will uh, get a corporate conversation.